fund of my own. Good evening. Yeah, my quality of own props. I'm using a few slides, actually only two slides. I'm here to speak uh, on behalf of the in-laws. So I have here Tata and Christine. Kayo lang ba? Did I miss anyone? Anyway, as uh, Pachon was saying, that Maggie always treated everyone she loved equally, but with one exception. I happen to be the favorite, not only son-in-law in law. Sorry, huh? That's the privilege of living with your mom. So, I used to call her, he used to call me my favorite son-in-law, and in return, I always called her my favorite mother-in-law. So if you still didn't get it, I happen to have, according to Bolo, several mothers-in-law. <laughs> so very shortly, I'll talk about very shortly about my relationship with her. You know, she was the first one objecting to Mayan's, my relationship with Maya. When Maya introduced me, and Maya introduced the idea to be in a relationship with me, the first thing that she said, what ka pa pasok sa gulo. <laughs> and that was even echoed by Marian when Mayan consulted Marian as her best friend that Mayan Ruben is my boyfriend. Wag Mayan, membro ng gang yan. <laughs> so, but Mami has always guided me in my relationship with the season family. I remember one in a session with Papa and the <coughs> Kuya, Kuya Johnny and the sister and the brother of Heidi. Ni naabot na niya kami, nagiinuman, nag-argumento, and I remember after that, kinausap ako ni Mami. Don't expect to win any argument with your Papa. <laughs> Magaling na baga. From that moment, I remember I was still assigned in Brussels at that time. She guided me with my how to deal with Papa and the rest of the seasons. I also get most of the brand of her, of her frustrations in all her advocacies. But my problem is barangay, she blames me. I'm not the barangay captain, but he says, you have to tell your friends in the barangay. If there is something she asks the Quezon City government, he complains to me, you tell your mayor, you tell your congressman, you tell your speech, everything. If he's against the national government, he blames me again. You tell the secretary of tourism, everyone. If there's problem with the villagers, he wants me to contact all of them on her behalf. So, I also get the brunt of all little problems in the house. For instance, about the slippers that are not fixed, the open doors, or the lights that were not closed. So she, I happen to be the first one she sees. Because I happen to arrive the last one, and by the time I reach home at 4 o'clock, she's away. So, or I leave very early and she tells me this, you forgot this, you forgot everything. So at a certain point, I had, I remember in 1998, you remember that part, birthday party of mommy? Feisty at 88. And I remember I did this. So I presented mother-in-law. I had to find a way on how to best characterize mommy. And I played an anagram of mother-in-law. And I found this as the appropriate description of my mother-in-law. And this is it. Woman Hitler. <laughs> Larger the exact letters 
I can relate to Sena as you will say, he, she will get the hell out of it. She will force her, herself in any meeting, even congressional meetings, she will be there. So that's why even uh, Senator M. Lee was not spared when she told him, Congressman, he was a senator at the time, the Senate president, calling her uh, congressman, and she gets away with everything. So that's money. But I'd like to take this opportunity to not to talk about my relationship with money or as an in-law, but really to acknowledge a group of people that fulfilled her life. I'd like to say, sayang wala na si Tita Nena, Santa, Cal Santa Catalina, and Nena shared so much. What a wonderful lady. Arroyo, anyone from Arroyo here? Philippine Norman. Man. So at these schools, she was honored by these schools as the most outstanding graduate. Every graduation of these schools, see the yung batch na graduating batch, iniimbitahan siya. Quirino High School, is Simeon still here? I saw him. Pero Quirino every year, susunduin si Mami ng graduating batch from Alpha so she can honor them, the graduating batch, with her presence. Akai, the Association of Commonwealth Health uh, Homeowners Association, Alpha Village, I saw Susan earlier, the former president. At one time or another, she was the administrator of all of these associations. Of course, they sent us the Friends of Intramuros. Again, um, her, maybe her last 15 years, not only 20 years, was so intense. At a very late age, she even joined the Rotary. I'd like to honor also the Philippine Daily Inquirer, who was always accommodating her, so please extend it to me, to the Inquirer. Lyceum, for, uh, for honoring her, for accepting her as a student at the age of 88, and she finished at the age of 89. Poor UP. We, we talked to UP, she, she uh, Lilia Calderon accompanied her to the president of UP and she was refused, refused by UP to finish her master's in, in English. I'd like to also thank uh, the Quezon City High School, uh, the Quezon City Council. That uh, citation over there on, on that post was done in 2006 and she, they made a resolution on her honor when they were my counselors ito, at mayor and at sponsor me. And 10 years after, on January 27, on the day of her birthday, the Congress honored her with a resolution. That's the one doon sa kanto. A congressional resolution honoring all her contributions to the nation. So it was really that completes her story. Yung nabigay namin sa kanya, it was handed to him by Congressman Banal last January 27. And just a few days before she passed away and she was still conscious we presented that enlarged version to her. There are other, so we thank uh, Congressman Bollet and Speaker Belmonte for doing it for our Mami Elo. I'd like to thank also EWTM. <laughs> That's the one that kept her every morning. And there are other people I'd like to, to honor. The secretaries of Mami. Uh, they are here, Marivik and Ayong. Let's give them a big hand. And for the last couple of weeks, those who took care of her, our nurses, Ivy and Tina, let's give them a big hand. Too. So all of these people and institutions made the activist that she is. 
She so loved all of you and the institutions that you represent. As his favorite son-in-law, my promise, and I enjoin you to, to join me in this uh, pursuit, in continuing the unfulfilled advocacy of money. And there's a lot. The barangay support for special children. There is a law that was started in Quezon City and she wants it as a national legislation. Her stand for the environment. I remember when she was still alive, she was telling friends, when I die, don't send me flowers. You plant a tree. So maybe everyone you want to do that for Mami Elo. I remember many of the association promising they will plant a tree. Removing the squatters of intramuros, Peter Senas, itong pinakmahirap natin problema. And of course, taking care of Nene for the siblings. This is something she na binili niya talaga. When I go, take care of Nene. And finally, this is for the Apos. She wants the book finished. Okay? And I ask Maggie to help the Apos finish that project. Palakpakan natin yung mga tiyan. So tonight is a celebration of her life for making the world a better place for all of us. Mommy, I love you. Rest in peace and good evening. And now, I'd like to introduce my son, Ayo, who represents one of his most important uh, advocacy, the advocacy for special children. I don't know the head count in their family, Tino. We have a number. So that is why five, huh? I think uh, we have uh, uh, five members of the next generations with developmental challenges and that's why mommy 